So this is the box that the Missouri Wind and Solar Freedom 2 came in. As you can see, it's not a very big box. And it came very well packaged and uh, was shipped right away. The top piece for uh, uh, you get an idea how big the box is. That's the part of the wind generator vane on the back. So this here is what you get in the box. It's the Freedom 2 dual core 4896 volt 2000 watt PMG. It's an 11 blade with the Raptor blades. This here is the unit itself. You can see the uh, dual wires. Here's one core. Here's the other core. So you've got uh, you hook them up one way. You got 48 volts. You hook them up the other way. And you got 96 volts. I'm going to be using a 48 volt system, so I will be setting them up 48 volts. They all come out of the bottom, right there, which looks like it's very well sealed off. There's some Here's the end. Lots of air can flow through there. front part where the hub is turns very easy so this here is the plate the mounting plate for the uh, blades zinc plated nice smooth finish on it both sides nice zinc plating comes with two dials because I have a dual. These are the smaller ones. These are uh, 50 amp. They don't look like what you'll find on his video. His video has a 90 amp. But uh, this is what I got. I got the 50 amp. They're about five bucks. The 90 amp are about 15 bucks. So it doesn't say on the eBay site uh, which ones you'll get. It just says you get two of them. And that's what I got. And I did give them a five star positive rating because it came quickly, it was packaged well, and uh, I did talk to them about some of the galvanizing. This here is a, the package that comes. This is for mounting the, the top part, all nuts and bolts. These are the bolts here. These bolts are for mounting the blades, the Raptor blades. Comes all packaged real nice. There's four bolts there that mount the PMG to the mounting brackets. And these mounting brackets are hot dip galvanized, but as you see, they're already rusting. And they're not very smooth. This right here, that's rough like sandpaper. It's probably 80 grit. This here is starting to flake off right here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Uh, might just mount it like that. Even though it's all rusty. Big gobs of galvanized material. Right there is another spot that is flaking off of. talked to Jeff about it. He said they had a different uh, galvanizing place and the new guy that's doing the galvanizing isn't doing as good a job. That's why this stuff is like it is. This here is another, this is the mounting plate for the PMG. Uh, as you can see it's, they ground it down to bare metal right there. That's why it's so shiny. It's so shiny. Of course you know the bare metal, that'll start rusting right away. And I'll probably have to do something with this, unless it doesn't interfere with the mounting. I'm not sure. 
But it is hot dip galvanized, even though a lot of it's like sandpaper. And then you have the Raptor blades, there's 11 of them. Real nice, nice edges on them. They have this paper cover on the tip of them. blades there. Man, you get all this in that box. Here's some more of the uh, wind vane. You can see uh, galvanized pieces right there. I don't know if I want to sand it off or just leave it. Leave it there. Got some rough spots. Not very smooth. I'm afraid that all this these rough marks are gonna catch and hold the moisture. It's not very smooth. moisture it will start to rust. There's some more spots right here. Big gobs of galvanizing. And I would imagine on the edge there's a big chunk of galvanizing. I, I don't know if that would create rusting problems or not. This year probably will. Even though it's galvanized, galvanizing will rust. There's a big gob there. So that's what you get in the box. And I'll be assembling it, and I'll make a video on it and I assemble it and see if there's any problems or if it all goes real nice and smooth. I'll show you some of the other galvanizing that I've gotten in the past. This here is a Rowan Tower, hot dip galvanized, and it is smooth. You don't have any of those burrs on it. It doesn't feel like 80 grit sandpaper. This here is a sawhorse. I can't tell you how old this thing is. It's all nice, smooth, galvanized. And it's been around a long time. If you look over here, though, see that leg there? That was, that was laid in the dirt. And it will rust if it gets moisture and it stays there. This here is some more galvanized stuff. This top piece, this is a bracket for a beam. It's been hot dip galvanized. Here again, nice and smooth finish. It doesn't feel like sandpaper. This part here, this is an old drum I use for uh, checking tires, leaks, air leaks. Fill full of water. It's galvanized and it's smooth. So uh, just an idea what hot dip galvanized can be like.